Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to share the times in my life that the Lord has visited me. These are called visitations and he just wants me to share this, so I'm going to share it. The first one was when I was in Paris, before, right before I had the abortion, and he was up in um, the corner of my room and it was like he was sitting on a throne and he was looking straight ahead and he looked very serious. And he did not make eye contact with me and it was it was as if he was there but we didn't have any interaction at all then uh, four times in my bedroom in the middle of the night he would wake me up and uh, he would be standing at the foot of my bed and he had on this is in the spirit the white robe on his kind of over his um, head but you could kind of see his face and it was long and he was standing at the foot of my bed and I had sat up when he woke me up and he had brought back a memory, um, a very traumatic memory, different ones at different times. And he was wanting me to release these um, traumas that, that I had kind of frozen and stored inside of me. And he would stand at the foot of my bed and point to me right here, point to my chest, to my heart and say, your emotions need a voice. Your emotions need a voice two or three times. And it was like he was giving me permission to voice my emotions about the things that had happened to me because I had held everything in my whole life. And along with a lot of other things, that was kind of making me sick. So that was four times. And then he came to me in the basement in the same type of way. And he said at the bottom of the stairs, and he said, I want you to do the YouTube videos because I had had a thought about that in my mind and I was like where did that come from and then I just thought well I would never do that and I dismissed it and he was telling me no that was a thought from me and I'm serious I want you to do it but at the time and I understood and I said yes I would and I meant to but I was so sick and so just in this delirium that everything swirling around me caused me to lose focus of that and to kind of forget it it was kind of washed away in the ocean, you know, with all the waves everywhere in my mind and in my circumstances. So three weeks later to the day, he came back with such grace and he said, same thing, but he goes, I really want you to do the YouTube videos. And I was like, thank you. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then I just forced myself through this like thick, um, just trauma that was just burying me I had to force myself through it and do one and I would do one you know like every three months starting out and then eventually now I'm doing multiple ones a week and then um these are the only the ones I can remember there may be others but anyway these are the five that I can remember right now um the last one is when I was very sick and I had been to all these doctors. Nobody knew what was wrong with me, and I had multiple issues. And I was so depressed, not just emotionally and psychologically, but physically so depressed. And I think I might have been sick, too, like I had caught a virus or whatever. And I was in the bed, and I was so still, and I had been there for so long, and it felt like my breathing was so shallow that I could have just passed over through the veil and gone over. But obviously I didn't. But he came and sat on my bed in the spirit during that time when I was like just so beat down. And he just came and he just sat on my bed. And he just wanted me to know that he's there for me and that he wanted to be with me. Okay, so these are just some visitations that the Lord has made. And I wanted to share these because he's convicting me to do so. All right, I hope this is interesting, and I'll see you guys soon.